Yo guys, what is going on? It's Aaron Gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly install and use Project Plus 2.0 on PC, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know if you have any issues in the comment section, and I'll help you as much as I can. And yeah, let's get into the video. So first, you just want to go onto your browser, and you just want to type Project Plus 2.0. Just search out, you see the first thing which is Project Plus website. You want to click on that link, and then here you just want to go onto the download tab at the top. So, once you are on the download page of Project Plus, you'll see 10 options that you can choose to download. So, first, if you are a Windows user, you just want to click Netplay uh, brackets Windows, and uh, if you're a Mac user, Netplay Mac, and a Linux user, Netplay Linux. So there are also some texture packs and modders pack that you could use for your Project Plus download. And there's also a Nintendo Wii uh, Offline Edition or Win a Nintendo Wii Lite Edition as well if you would, if you are interested in getting this download. So you just want to click on the download link for the operating system you are using. So for now I'm going to be choosing Windows because I am a Windows 10 user. So you just want to click download and you just want to wait for that to download. It'll be take a while depending on your Wi-Fi speed so you just want to be patient for that. So once the download has completed, you just want to locate the file and put it on your desktop or wherever you want to place it. So for me, it's a zip file right now. So I just extract the files onto your desktop or wherever you want to place it. So just wait for that to extract. So once that has extracted or if you have extracted it, you just want to go onto the file. Then here you'll see the Dolphin XE launcher right here. You'll also need a Brawl ISO file. So a Brawl ISO is a Nintendo Wii game which you'll be using obviously to play your games such as Super Smash Bros. So you'll be needing a Brawl ISO in order to play your game. So there's so there's either two ways you can get the Brawl ISO. So there's one way which is through extracting the WVBS file from your Nintendo Wii console and, and converting that into an ISO file which is hard to do. So you should seek some expert advice online or somewhere some, if someone's made a video on it. Um, check it out, try doing it if, if you can. But there's also piracy ways which is illegal to do but uh, if you are desperate that desperate or you just really want it uh, there's a website called vim.net link is in the description uh, if you want to check that out so that is where you can download some games for nintendo wii so in order for you to play the game so there are two methods that i found piracy websites and ext extracting it from your own console so for now i'm not going to waste my time downloading the game because i don't think i'll be able to play it uh, anytime soon with my trash pc but if you have the Brawl ISO files, um, have it on your desktop or somewhere you know where it is. So you just want to click on the Dolphin EXE file. And if you have this message, you want to click yes. So once the launcher has loaded in, uh, you just want to see at the top, you want to click config right there. And then click on the paths tab. And then near the bottom, you'll see a default ISO. You should see that it's blank at the moment and it should be the same for you as well. So what you want to do first is click on the three dots and then then locate the Brawl ISO file that you will be using to play the game. And once you've selected that, you just want to click, you want to click close. So you, then you can customize your game. So if you're using a controller, you can click here, or if you want to change the graphics or the configure, as I said, and any more uh, tools you can use as well. Uh, so once that is done, you can either double click on this or actually click play. And once that is loaded, once you click play, it should start to load in the game. So you should see a tick right there once you have selected your ISO file. When you click play, it should load in with your game after doing its alone launching. So if you get an error saying that the code execution cannot be processed because of a VC runtime 140 underscore one dot DLL uh, was not found, you might need to reinstall the program so that you can fix this issue. And you can also click on the link in the description to fix this error as well. So that is how to download Project Plus Dolphin Launcher on PC. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.